mean, the, my, like, warning is that, like, seriously, I've thought about this consistently for, like, five years, and I've never fucking done anything that's more than, like, scribbles on, like, no, like, let's, let's, let, let me show you, like, the, like, most, um, like that. Huh? See, that is exactly what I'm looking for, though. It's that's like, exactly it. Don't know what it is, and that's about all there is. Amazing. <laughs> See, no, but that's brilliant. <laughs> that, that is exactly what I want to write about. <laughs> tools. 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 <laughs> like maybe a shovel and some a really small box. <laughs> um, I'm. I don't need. I don't need a product. I. Be, oh, okay. She's good. <laughs> She's really good. This is clearly sissy inspired. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, there's, there's not a lot of fighting that. Sort of militaristic, sort of sexy, um, spy. Um, what else do I have? So, um, you know, like, I know, like, bride flowers. I don't know, like, that, too. I, so, anyway, so, and then I, like, write some stuff. Like, sometimes it's, like, a little screenplay sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just, like, little short stories. I mean, there's, I don't even know where half, like, any of them are, to be honest. But it's, like, you know, it's just, like, something that I kind of think about and go back to. Mm -hmm. It's really funny to be talking about this with my lip like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially, like, 
cities are so expensive now, and um, you know and that's tied to um, the AIDS crisis. Sarah Shulman has that new book, Gentrification of the Mind. Oh my God, I need it. it. Oh. Yeah. So like that, you know, like I think that talking about that in space and, and thinking about like, you know, the idea is that there it's a sort of troop of people that bike around in rural areas like outside of cities because for some you know sometimes the cities aren't safe because there's you know monsters or whatever and sometimes the cities aren't safe because um you know because there's like the, you know where you know toxic whatever you know like the sort of idea shifts but that cities are uninhabitable and so survivors sort of stay out of the cities mm. and but after a generation sort of thinking that people will have settled a little bit and that these queer, this sort of queer bike circus thing, you know, could be this sort of nomadic um, sexual utopia mm-hmm. where they would go to these different sort of settlements and, and you know, be like this place where people could come and, and you know, uh, sort of express a, 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 a more utopian sort of... Um, you know, my, my in, in thinking about it, you know, my guess is that in in uh, you know in some sort of post-apocalyptic world, like all people would want to do is like get back to sort of their system of normalcy, mm-hmm. and that this sort of activity would be a way to to, to actually to have an imprint on their normalcy, like yeah, totally, to like create um, a different value. Oh my God, I love that. Like, that is the your camp. Your camp. What? Remember you're talking about buying property and yeah, like totally. a farm? Um, and then like another, the other like sort of idea that I'm interested in exploring with it is thinking about like um, having this sort of central, you know, there's sort of this like central ring mastery sort of central character. Misty. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, no, but, but the, the, the <laughs> that there's this oh, yeah. sort of like central figure who can sort of um, expo- explore a politic of um, thinking about how does um, also you know that, that most likely people would sort of go into this like procreative sex like that that would be this like main focus after some sort of apocalypse. totally it always it, turns into like a reverse Eden where after the apocalypse suddenly it's like there needs to be this sort of Adam and Eve character who are young children, which is how the book is, too. Yeah. And, and it totally, like, kind of returns to, like, this really sexist Bible notion. Yeah. Whereas, like, what I love about yours and, like, this sort of queer tribe that transcends, like, this sort of procreative supremacy and, and um, I don't know, it puts more faith in, like, a humanity that, like, bands together through tough times rather than, like, fighting tooth and nail, like, to, like, just preserve canned goods for yourself, which yeah, is, like, what the whole book was, like, about. And I was just like, no, no, my, like, my queer sensibilities are just offended by this because I don't believe that this is actually what happens. Yeah. No, you know? and that's totally what this sort of person would, like, explore. Like, should, should this group be, like, going and, like, offering this utopia up to, to get people to stop having procreative sex that like maybe we were all supposed to like end and that like they're ruining mm. the point of what happened you know and that like the point is that we all sort of die off and that you know like could it be like could this be like the last generation totally well and also like like you know letting your bodies go I mean definitely like within like queer like writings on AIDS or whatever like I think that there is like an overwhelming sense that like um, you leave a legacy that lives on anyway and I don't think that that's necessarily dependent on humanity walking the face of the earth as well you know and and sure I guess maybe the bible could like support this with like a notion of heaven but I think that it's different than that Mm -hmm. you know so yeah gorgeous yeah. Um, so the way that like I imagine it happening, I've also been thinking about like the stations of the cross a lot with this uh, idea. Because uh-huh. I really like I keep being like, oh, well, it's a movie or it's a you know a, a performance or it's a you know 
little like weird zine thing or it's a you know and and that i like this idea that there would be like that this story would be told in these like you know 12 specific iconic moments oh gorgeous okay and that then like i could ex- and then i could like manifest those moments in like lots of different ways um and like sort of be sort of like a myth maker in that and so the Dan Danimal was talking about that I um, actually I think kind of got me going on this idea of the of the Stations of the Cross is he's been thinking and talking about doing he's like really interested in sort of like um, these like fractured queer history moments that like we we don't operate in a, in a history of like a narrative that we operate in a history of like well this is like some information we can get and this is some information we can get and it's like really kind of mm. disjointed oh my god my <laughs> mouth is so fucked up right now <laughs> <laughs> watching you like eat a giant is really piece amazing of right here oh. <laughs> 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 yummy <laughs> <laughs> so he was talking about doing these like um kind of like this uh like frozen live tableau sort of thing where he get people to like play out these stories that like don't necessarily make sense through like you know gorgeous like <laughs> you know and you know, like, like live mannequins during fashion week in the mall yeah, <laughs> totally, totally and like sort of telling the story but it doesn't really make sense and like they're characters but you don't really know who they are um it requires like intuition and like your own self projection in order to like create a narrative from it uh huh that's good totally. that's good I'm totally into that so that was sort of like another like mode that I thought would be really interesting to explore that idea through um and I just love the idea of, like, I don't know, like, I'm super into, like, the passion and, like, these sort of, like, really intense stories that get told, you know, these, like, 36 hours that are, like, change the rest of the world, you know? Totally. So, like, could this be consolidated into, like, this little, you know, discreet moment? Gorgeous. I love it. I'm also doing, like, the Red Ribbon Ride. Yeah, do you... Because, like, I want the experience of, like, going on a three-day bike ride, with four-day bike ride with, like, well, you know, Tawanda... Oh, my God, that's going be amazing. Sam, you know, Kim Christensen, like, these, like, really pretty radical queer folks. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought, it, I thought Ann Erickson was going to pull it together. It's Timmy, but... Oh, good. Good, good. Um, so that's about all I have. There's like no actual thing. I love it. No, no, I don't need a thing. I'm, I'm like so postmodern. It's <laughs> right. I just need a Skype session. That's all I need. I'm just gonna email a link to my professor and be like, this is what my paper is about. <laughs> 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 I, you know what it's just like the whole idea of like academia is sort of like a colonization of its own and like the idea of like writing a paper on that book is just like so horrifying um so yeah so I'm just gonna like write it on a non-object and like use that to kind of like reflect on my ideas of like how apocalypse is actually different <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Will you do the screen capture of my lips really close up as the like title page? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've made we've made art today. You, you're oh, it's so beautiful on the the botched collagen is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> 